Like a bell cut. Hello everybody, this is Gigarex and Justin with you again on another episode of Myths and Legends. So, today's discussion is going to be about the Nemean Lion. <laughs> Hope you all know what that is, even though it's not mentioned very often. Well, Nemean Lion, also known as Scar, if you believe in uh, the uh, Disney version of Hercules. <laughs> Just saying. If, if, if anyone noticed in the Disney movie Hercules, uh, when he's getting his like uh, photograph painted on faces, or as they like to say, Voss, uh, he's actually wearing the hide of Scar from Lion King. Oh, I didn't know. Yep, uh, but anyways, <laughs> that. So, the Nemean Lion, most profoundly known for being killed by Hercules. <laughs> but I'm sure that's all you guys know, though. Yep. Uh, what's interesting is the, the Nemean Lion is actually really hard to kill, as nothing at all could pierce its skin. That it literally had to be killed from the inside out. Yeah, uh, the story goes that uh, no mortal weapon could kill it and no mortal armor could stop it. Mm -hmm. But would that mean that if a god cast down a weapon, would you be able to kill it then? Uh, there's actually other, um, there, if I remember correctly, as it talks about in Percy Jackson series, is they always use special weapons, either from certain minerals that was blessed by the gods or... Uh, certain contraptions that again was blessed by a god. Yeah, it could be made by moral hands. It just had to have the the blessings and the right materials. Um, if I believe, I'm, if I remember correctly, in and there's going to be a lot of Hercules references because well, that's what he's most known for. So I apologize. Well, yeah, but, he just like rips him in half. If I remember correctly. Well, uh, in the one of the latest Hercules movies, the one with uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, mm -hmm. uh, he does kill it with a sword, and it's questioned as to how he killed it with a sword if uh, it's. Skin is impenetrable by a sword, and the guy says, with an unbreakable sword, of course, <laughs> or something like that. So, obviously, it had to be a cat, a god casted sword, or uh, maybe just as the original myths say, he pries it open, just like King Kong does with that T Rex in the old 2000 something. King Kong movie. <laughs> There's also another theory that it was because it was held by someone who was the son of a god. Yeah. There, he may not have been fully god, but he still had some properties. Mm -hmm. And makes the sense that whatever weapon he wields is then considered divine in a sense. Makes. I admit, I, I like that. That theory kind of makes you think of some of the animes where uh, it's not the sword that makes uh, the person, but the person that makes the sword, where their energy runs through the sword. Mm -hmm. And there actually is another theory about that, which I've told you about with the whole Excalibur, where there was a theory that King Arthur, it once he was proclaimed as Excalibur's wielder, whenever he held the sword, it was always Excalibur, even if it wasn't. Technically, Excalibur. Yep, but we'll have to get into that one for, yeah. in the future because yeah. that is one that we plan on doing here in the near future. Yeah, but that, that was another good example of yeah, that. that's a very good example. Uh, so, what do we know about uh, our friendly lion, not so friendly lion here? Where does it come from? I, if I remember what you were talking about the other day, it sounds like it was made of some sort of weapon from the gods. <laughs> <laughs> Some angry Malvin weapon to destroy some heathens or something. <laughs> I'm sorry for Apparently, that. all the Philippines are heathens. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's just the way it sounds when you say how so, it is. When we read up on the legend, it says uh, Nemius was either born, uh, was sent from the moon as a child from 
Zeus or Stephanie's, I think it was her name, and or it was born of a chimera, which I th I've heard a lot more of the chimera part, so I'm leaning towards the chimera. There, but it was sent to the Philippines to terrorize cities. That is literally what the words on my research said. The, the most logical person who is actually uh, there's uh, another being called Echidna, who is the mother of monsters. Yes, that's also another part I read, but I just I didn't want to get into it because whatever I read on that part, it was just talking about lions in general and not Nemius. I just yeah, wanted to stick to the Nemius part. Well, Echidna is literally the mother of monsters. She also goes by the name yep. Tiamat who in some mythology is not as bad as she is in Greek mythology. So what I'm getting from this is that apparently all lions are monsters. But as you said... Nemius is special, but all lions are monsters. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know that. I don't love lions. <laughs> but as you did say in one of our other videos where... It's all in perspective. This is true. I remember a story of a of a couple of guys that had a pet lion. They eventually had to release it into an animal preserve. They went back years later, and that lion hugged them. It did not maul them. It hugged them. It was it was a very beautiful moment. Um, quite honestly, that there's not a whole bunch about the Nemeus lion, like and. I know the whole perspective on monsters things, but, and this Nemean line was a monster. It was made to be a killer. Like, there, there's no going around it. Yes, I'm sure if you have the right type of person, like Lilo from Lilo and Stitch, to try and turn some sort of monstrous creature into a loving one, but other than that, it's just a straight up monster. There's no thoughts of if uh, you could have it as a pet sure that'd be awesome uh what do you think society would be like if nemius was alive that's also a name for it it's nemius and nemian it really depends on what you want to say about it i'm sure if they were still around today that they would probably be less of a monster um they would be found for some use for another thing and I'm sure some people would find some sort of way to make friends with them. I mean that's the strangest part with humanity is as much as where some people like to create wars some actually do a good job at befriending stuff. Yeah. I remember watching a video on Facebook uh, a couple years back about a guy that's literally swimming in a pond or a lake or something with a crocodile and it rolls over for him to rub its belly. This is a real thing, people. Look it up. Yeah. Um, shoot, why well, can't remember his name right now? It's uh, one guy we always talk about, how he was always respectful of nature and would always do those shows with crocodiles. Oh, Steve Irwin? Yeah, Steve Irwin. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, so that's kind of all we have for today's video. But I do want to put this out there as... Uh, a lot of people know this pro this is going to be a couple weeks late, but I just want everyone to do what you can, put out stuff for the Australian Zoo because they, as of today when this video is being made, uh, they have they have taken in and helped over ninety thousand animals due to the fires in Australia right now. Which is kind of amazing considering it's winter that there's still fires like that going on somewhere mm -hmm. in the world. Well. The thing is, is that the Irwins own the zoo. Everything that's going on at that zoo, taking care of those animals, is coming out of their pocket. So it's a good thing I brought up the Irwins there. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about it. I wish I would have remembered this in the last video. But we, we, if you, if you want a prayer, whatever you want to do, send whatever thinks to the Australian Zoo. Not just to the Irwins, but to everyone else at the zoo to put in all the extra hours that they're probably doing to help all the animals there. Go save them lions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you guys all have a wonderful giga day. Uh, 
This is Gigarex and Crazy PewDiePie. And, well, don't be going to try and kill Nemia Slider because apparently, unless you have a go godly weapon, you know, it can be a do and deadly squat to him. <laughs> oh, you might be able to poison him. Poison me. <laughs> Do some monster under there. <laughs> well, everyone, have a good day. And don't forget, peanut pie is always better when it's crazy.